We continue our program with an address by Shri K. C. Purohit, who is Chairman and Managing Director of Nuclear Power Corporation of India. The Nuclear Power Corporation of India is involved in the commercial nuclear power generation in India under the aegis of Department of Atomic Energy. Dr. Purohit. Good morning. <coughs> Honorable Dr. Archidambram, Dr. R. K. Sina, Dr. Shekhar Basu, Professor R. B. Grover, Dr. Vijayan, Dr. Nayak, distinguished guests, colleagues participating in conference, friends from press and media, ladies and gentlemen. It's my proud privilege to welcome Honorable Dr. R. Chidambaram, Principal Scientific Advisor, GOI, and Chairman Scientific Advisor Committee to the committee at NPCL premises, and also share our heartfelt gratitude to him for his sparing valuable time to grace the occasion. We also welcome Chairman Atomic Energy Commission and Secretary Department of Atomic Energy, Dr. Ratan Kumar Sina, all dignitaries, participants on this inaugural session of the conference. And I also take opportunity to thank the organization, organizers of the International Thorium Energy Conference for the opportunity provided to the NPCI. Dr. Grover just now said the changes and positive changes in our life are taking place, which has, of course, also given the life expectancy to go up and many other areas where we feel the comfort. Thanks to industrialization and for efficient industrial production, power or electrical energy has a vital role in all aspects of the development. Whether it's a living standard of, or agriculture, food preservation, healthcare, or anything. And sustainability of these developments encompasses improving the standards of living, needs, necessi uh, necessity of preserving the environmental requirements of present and future generation. And this requires reliable and affordable electrical generation without compromising the environment. It is our responsibility to keep the environment as we received from our ancestors and the future generation future generation expects us to do this. Realizing that energy is one of the most important factor for the sustainability, sustainability of the development, we understand the importance of the clean energy as well. As you know, that we followed the path envisioned by Dr. Homi Baba and NPCL, a humble start of electrical generation was from the nuclear power plants at Tarapur and Rajasthan was made. And we all know that India is pursuing three stage nuclear power program. Spent fuel from first stage plays important role as input to fuel reprocessing plants. And reprocessed fuel becomes fuel input for the next stage. Nuclear Power Corporation is making a modest contribution in supplementing the power requirements through the first stage of the nuclear power program. And we as an integral nuclear power, as an integral component of clean energy for sustainable development has been successfully demonstrated by Nuclear Power Corporation. Journey of Nuclear Power Corporation so far had been stabilization of 220 megawatt plants, manufacturing, support given to the manufacturers for manufacturing of equipments in India, and thereafter design of our own 540 megawatt reactors and now we are gone for design and construction of 700 megawatt reactors of the pressurized high water type. In parallel, of course, additionalities, additionalities in the form of setting of large LWRs based on the international cooperation is also taken. Why I'm telling these things is that NPCL gained a lot of experience during the plant operation from technology demonstration days when frequent shutdowns and trippings 
of the earlier generation used to be there. Now we have achieved the safe, reliable, and continuous operation in the commercialization phase. And India is now, through Bhavini, is implementing the next stage, second stage, and this is the gap, this is, uh, this is the bridge which is being, which is acting between the first and third stage. The third stage of the nuclear power program focuses on the development of the advanced nuclear power systems by utilization of the thorium. Like in the first stage, <clears throat> early preparation, understanding the details both on front of science and engineering will pay rich dividends when commercial scale operation of second stage and third stage is going to be in the full swing. And we know also know that spent fuel needs some cooling before it can be reprocessed. I think this is the time when we can best utilize for the development of the various processes. Thorium, which is the fuel for the future in the nuclear power program, and India has a lot of it. The in importance of innovative research work, which will be needed in future for detailed design, is the need of the hour. And sharing of the individual experience along among the scientific community will accelerate the process. The conference is presenting excellent opportunity, excellent platform for us to share the knowledge and take advantage of works being carried out at different places in the world. And we also know that knowledge shared actually multiplies and compounding effect of multiplication is well understood by all of us. For our future path, industry, scientists, technologists, everybody has to play a very important role in all dimensions of the technology. And I think this conference is going to be an excellent opportunity for sharing the views. I wish all the success conference. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Prohit, for uh, your take on the conference theme and updating the audience on the role played by Nuclear Power Corporation for its new India's nuclear power program.